Welcome back to Monitoring of Forest Resources. It's me again, Lutz. And in this quite short tutorial, I will talk about the measurement of crown dimensions. We have talked about the measurement of crown lengths already in other videos, in context of the measurement of tree height. Today, I'm interested in the crown projection area. So I like to estimate or take some measurements about the crown dimensions and it is about the horizontal projection of the crown area to the ground. This is something that is quite difficult to do in a closed canopy. That's why we are here in a relatively open area. And I have with me a very small tool, and it's also a very old one, this one here, which is called a crown mirror. And this tool can be used to find the horizontal projection of the outline of the crown. So if you look into this mirror here, then you see the point directly above uh, your position. And this is helpful if you like to identify the edge of the crown. However, this mirror is very tiny and in a closed canopy you will see only green. It will hardly be possible to find the edge of the crown. Another tool that you can use is the Suntu clinometer or any other mechanical clinometer that also has an indication of the zenith angle. So if you use a Suntu clinometer and if you look through it and far beyond, far behind the scales that you use for tree height measurement, you find a small line indicating the zenith angle, which is exactly the position above you. So this is another tool that you can use to identify the edge of the crown. We can then mark the edge of the crown in multiple directions and take a measurement of crown width in different cardinal directions. So I have already identified the crown edge in this direction. I'm now looking for the horizontal projection of the crown edge in this direction here on this side of the crown. And I'm this time using the mirror and I find it exactly here. So this is the last branch which is exactly above me. So I have now fixed two poles, one on this side of the crown, one on the other side and I can now measure the distance and for this I have some help of Alessandra, she is from Italy, you know her already from other tutorials and Hi. we will use the vertex instrument to measure the distance. We first need to switch on the transponder and then Alessandra you can go to the other side. She is now standing exactly behind the trunk, but this is not a problem with the vertex instrument. And we have a crown diameter in this direction of 11.83 meters. This is only one measurement, so we would do the same measurement in different cardinal directions to get an idea about the average crown diameter. But why should we be interested in crown dimensions at all, or in the crown projection area? It is not a useful information if we are analyzing forest inventory data, but for modeling purposes it might be quite interesting. Because imagine we like to integrate remote sensing also in our analysis, then we see the trees only from above. So what we see is the crown projection area and depending on the remote sensing data source we can maybe even measure the height of the crown. If we know the height and the crown area, then we can try to establish a model linking this information to the diameters of the tree. So if we would have many diameter measurements and many crown measurements, we can establish a model between the crown projection area and the tree diameter. And this would enable us to estimate, for example, a diameter distribution from aerial images or from LiDAR data. So this was a very short tutorial on how to measure crown dimensions. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you back in one of the next tutorials.